Hello and welcome to the 2023 Heart Women's Volleyball Media Day. I'm your host, Courtney Jackson. Today we're excited to be joined by Grandview head coach Devin Wells and Sydney Beasley. Coach Sydney, thanks for joining us for Media Day. Uh, let's go to you first, Coach. Uh, year two for you coming up for the Vikings. Recap year one a bit for us and how much are you looking forward to year two as a head coach? Well, year one was definitely something to get used to and kind of battling through a couple of injuries and smaller roster. So I think that alone kind of put some stress on everybody involved with the program, but um, we battled through the year. I'm, I'm just really excited for this kind of incoming class to see what we're all about and kind of get back to where we're known as Grandview. Yep. All right. And coach, go ahead and introduce us to Sydney. Tell us what she means to your program, why you got her sitting next to you today. All right, Sydney is a, a junior for us. She's our starting middle. She's been a starting middle ever since she's got to campus. Um, really good kid. I, I think um, she represents our program really well. Um, she was voted as a team captain by her teammates. Um, I think she's a leader on and off the court. So we're kind of anxious to see what she says on camera now. <laughs> well, Sydney, now it's your turn. Tell us about your volleyball journey. When did you start playing the game and how did you end up at Grandview? I really didn't start loving the game. I feel like right away I kind of just did it to be with my friends. I wasn't too tall back then. I wasn't too athletic back then. Um, and then once I had my growth spur around like I think eighth grade, that's when things really started kicking into gear for me. And I took it a lot more seriously my sophomore year of high school, I would say so. Yeah. Okay. And what inspired you to choose uh, Grandview? And then tell me a little bit about school. What are you studying? How does it align with your long-term goals? So I chose Grandview because I I feel like I value, I knew the coaches beforehand and I valued what they would, would be teaching us, you know, on the court and stuff like that. And I also knew about the legacy that they had for this with this program. I mean, Devin, she played, mccani has been here for how long? Um, all of our assistant coaches, I think, are either at Grandview playing, you know, Dalton's on the men's team. Uh, Carly used to play. So did Jordan. Everyone here loves Grandview. So I figured I would love it too, since everyone's coming back for more. So that's a big part of why I'm here. And I see it now that I am here. That's true. And so I'm majoring in psychology and I'm hoping to become a marriage and family counselor someday. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. All right. Uh, well, tell me, now that you're officially an upperclassman, how have the first few practices gone so far? How are you moving into your new role as a team captain? It's pretty easy for me because I think we have a pretty physical, a physical team. Um, we have a lot of natural talent. I think we have a lot of potential. I think right now it's just down to the technique, working on that and making sure the court looks cohesive and fluid and trying to make it look like we have been playing for more than just two weeks together, you know, and look more comfortable on the court and play together well, you know. Yep. So well, nice. Yeah. Yep. Good. Well, coach, your squad's going to travel to Fremont next week for some tough matchups. Um, some good teams there. You got Missouri Baptist, Midland, Corbin, Viterbo. How much are you looking forward to those games against former NAIA national tournament teams? Yeah, I mean, you know, like our program history has kind of been, you know, up there in the past and we're trying to get back there. And I think with us being so young, we want to have a tough schedule and we want to play tough teams, comp tough competition to uh, kind of ensure that that's where the level that we want to play. So the challenge is always uh, we want to make sure that we're competing as much as possible. That way we're building throughout the year rather than just kind of playing in conference play, whether and I mean, we have one of the top one of the top conferences in NAI, but uh, I think challenging ourselves outside of conference is really big for NAI in general. And we kind of got invited to this tournament and we're going to try and see some good volleyball and kind of hopefully uh, our youngsters kind of step up to the plate a little bit and kind of compete a little bit. Yeah. And Sydney, like your coach just said, Heart of America Conference is known for its high level of competition. Um, how does that push you guys and motivate you as a student athlete, knowing that you have to show up for every game? Um, I feel like it comes a lot from the coaches. They're the ones reminding us all the time how good we were in the past, how good we can be. We're all here for a reason. I think we have so much potential. And I think that that motivates us in itself just to get to that potential as a team and be able to play together and figure things out as far as that goes. I think we'll be set from there, honestly. 
And coach, I like that she brought up um, that it comes from the coaches a lot because uh, Grandview this last year won the Heart Commissioner's Cup for the third straight year last year. Uh, that pretty much just talks about how influential all the coaches are, how much success you guys are able to make. Talk about uh, the competition and camaraderie inside your athletic department. Uh, I would say that's the biggest thing when I got on campus, you know, last summer uh, with my new role, I would say the, you know, I've been around since I played and I've been involved with our program and I've known coaches. Uh, typically, we try and get a lot of alumni to come back and coach. And I think that's the coolest part about our our culture at Grandview and kind of that one team, one family or the Viking for Life logo, you know, that that's where I think the camaraderie of understanding colleagues and having a common goal of wanting to be better and wanting to be involved in each other's successes. I think that's kind of where we, we live as a Grandview university. So um, it, it's kind of, you know, the championship lifestyle for, you know, wrestling, you know, building that the football legacy, you know, there's just a lot of colleagues around that really understand what it takes to be some of the top programs in the country. So I think that alone is just the mentorship on campus is really cool. And when it comes to your team coach, is there a word or a phrase that you guys are standing by this year? What are you using to motivate your athletes to push through the season? Um, I mean, our motto this year is cross the line. So kind of being bought in and, and when we're on the court, we're on the court when, you know, we're going to school or we're going to classes, you know, buying in with whatever we're doing, but, um, I think right now, I think these little techniques and stuff, I think buying into the process and understanding kind of what we're looking for and how big of a, a step we can take by buying into the little things. All right. And you're familiar with the heart from your time at Grandview, but also talk about how the conference has continued to grow and you see is going to continue to grow uh, when it comes to competition each year. I mean, I've, I've been around uh, Grandview since we were in the MCC. So the MCC turned in the heart of America. I think uh, since I've been a part of the program, you can just see the development of teams getting better and really pushing each other. And we're one of the bigger conferences. So understanding that no night is an easy night. Um, typically, everybody has a target on our back and and we got to figure out how to play better and if we get a tough team or we get a team that really plays the the lights out on that night, we have to figure out a way to kind of build momentum into either that match or the next match and try to find a way to kind of really dial down. If we do end up losing, then the next match has to be kind of a win or some sort of building step into that next next week. Yep. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Uh, Coach and Sydney, good luck to you guys in 2023. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you.